If you guys are looking for the absolute cheapest coins on the internet right now, head on over to my sponsor, AO. EAH.com. They got the cheapest coins on the market. You can get a million for under 50 bucks. Save that money. Make sure to always use code Poodle at checkout to get your additional 3% off. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today we have our team of the week, week four predictions. Now, super excited. Was a fun NFL Sunday, of course, including Thursday night. And we still have Monday night to go down tonight as well. Tonight as well, because today is Monday, of course. Um, quickly, NFL wise. Last night's game, Patriots versus Bucks, that, that was surprising. Now, I don't think it was really anything towards the two teams themselves. I think they overhyped that game to the point where they, like, doomed the Bucks in a sense. I don't think this was so... I, the Patriots, by the way, this was, like, their Super Bowl. They came out there, and they were, they, you know... Also, I mean, Belichick and all the coaches probably had a pretty good idea. Like, they've been with Brady for so long, they probably know exactly how to play him. Although, there's no really way to play Brady, let's say, but they probably knew his favorite reads... His concepts, the way he likes to look back, the way he looks off the corner in certain ways. You know, they probably know a lot. Of, they have so much intel on him that they were probably able to counter a lot of things that Brady could do. And then the Bucks kind of run through Brady for the most part, you know, his decision making. But besides the point, game was very overhyped. It kind of set them up for failure. But they still came out of, They came out away with the win. Just barely, you know, by, 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 just barely. But anyways, fun day yesterday. Fun games. My Giants won. Saquon Barkley in overtime. Jets also won. Although I'm not a Jets fan, but New York Jets and Giants winning on the same day in a thriller. That may never happen again, but guys. So if you guys want to go, go watch those games. Those are classics for New York fans. But nonetheless, let's get into the predictions. Let's start with our lower set, guys. So for the lower set, guys, I'm going to go through these quicker. I like to talk about the other guys more so. But uh, one guy that's definitely going to get a card, like, so positively getting a card. And there's a guy that, I don't know, he's coming out of nowhere. I mean, he always had a, he had a draft pedigree. He's always been a useful player in the league, but the Falcons are really just letting him... Let him eat. And he's, he's taking advantage of his opportunity. That's Cordell Patterson. Cordell Patterson, however you say his name. He's currently a 77 overall for the uh, Falcons right now. But I think he could get like an 87 overall card this week, which would give him a 90 speed. I mean, I would say if he gets an 87 overall card, he has to have about a 90 speed. He probably ends up with above 90 excel, above 90 agility, above 90 change of direction. Now, the beauty of that, guys, he won't be a good wide receiver, but he may be one of the best kicker turners in the game. If he gets this uh, like this close to 87, 88 overall card, he'll be one of the best kicker turners in the game, probably. You know, good change of direction, good agility, probably some decent, you know, some decent other stats. They're going to boost some other stuff up. He could be a pretty good card. He had like uh, three touchdowns yesterday, like 150 yards. He was he was good or maybe like 100 yards, but he was good. Another guy who's really just really just kind of having a good season. I mean, he's he's always been pretty good, but the way their offense has always been and injuries and stuff, he's never really had a chance to really go ahead and eat. Debo Samuel starting off pretty good. He'll probably get like an 86, 87 overall card as well. Maybe 88. Uh, Debo Samuel, one of the high end cat cards like that too. Will probably go ahead and get, like I said, above 90 speed again. Uh, mid 80s route running. Pretty high catching. But the beauty of this card is always the behind the card stats. He'll probably get like a 90 stiff arm or close to it. Above 80 trucking. This card will be really good with the ball in his hands. He'll be one of the better wide receiver screen kind of guys. And again, a really good kicker turner, a special teams kind of guy. Um, I think Mahomes gets a plus one. That'd be pretty good for all you guys who do have Mahomes out there. If Mahomes gets another plus one, uh, that'll be good. It'll be a pretty good card. I mean, he already has the 88 plus. Uh, of course, you can go ahead and power him up and do all the other stuff. You know, a plus one on Mahomes. Just not going to... He won't be a meta quarterback. But if you guys do currently still use the free Mahomes, that will just add to his value. His throw power is going to get into the 90s, of course. His throw in the run in the 90s. Play action is already going to be close to the 90s as well. Short. Short may get it. Or I should say will get it if he gets the plus one. His medium deep will get a bit higher. Gonna be a useful card. I don't think he's a meta quarterback because of abilities and all that stuff, but still useful. Now, just name off the last guys. We have um, Trevon Diggs for the Cowboys. Two picks. He's he's having a pretty good season, guys. Honestly, if he keeps this up, he'll probably end up getting a Pro Bowl appearance, and he'll more than likely end up getting some pretty good upgrades in terms of Mutt and Reg squads like Rosses. If you guys play franchise, and then we have Qu uh, Quadre Diggs and Quinnen Williams. Now for the Legend Heroes, guys. First, I'm gonna be giving it to a Matt Forte. I think Matt Forte could get a legend hero. I think this was like 2010. He had 205 yards and one touchdown, guys. I think a Matt Forte car would be super fun. I think it would be very uh, comparable to like a Deuce Daly in terms of like a receiving back, like that archetype. I think Matt Forte would probably end up around a 90-91 speed. I think say I think it would be just like this Deuce Staley card. It was like a very well-rounded card, but Matt Forte was a really good receiving back. I think he'd have in the 80s catching, as well as a bit better route running than Deuce Staley does have. Uh, Deuce Staley does have a, what's a short, 79? I think Matt Forte would be a slightly better Deuce Staley. I don't know about the weight. I don't think Matt Forte was super heavy, 
but he's really good i think matt forte would be a really fun car we haven't seen a good matt forte in mud years like madden 13 madden 14 madden 25 like it's been a long time since we've had a good matt forte card i would love to see matt forte back in mud i think he qualifies for this legend hero here next guys for the other legend for my giants asiyu minora for the giants i think he could really get this card now the only concern here is that last year he got a card for this exact week as well but it's hard to deny him a card here guys he had six sacks in like 2007 week four for the giants six sacks is crazy that's a crazy game i think there's a good chance that he could still get the card again but he did get it exactly last year for doing so so i'm not sure if they'd give it to him again but if they do asiyu minora is my guy now guys for my ltd current player this is a player that plays still to this day and had a legendary performance or a good performance in past years now people might not be a big fan of this card but he actually had a great week and he could actually be pretty good for mutt mitchell trubisky had a really good like 2018 or 2019 uh week four he had six touchdowns and like 450 yards in uh, like two years ago on this week now mitch trubisky's a scrambler archetype guys but he could be really good if he gets a if he gets an ltd like 93 overall powered up to 94 He'd be really good. So let's just figure, right? Let's, let's increase his overall by 20 overalls. He probably gets like a 90 speed at quarterback, guys. Like he gets, he probably gets a 90 speed or higher, which makes him one of the fastest quarterbacks in the game, if not the fastest quarterback in the game. He probably ends up with above 90 throw power. His short, medium, and deep probably end up in the high, low, high, high mid 80s. All of his passing will probably be high 80s, but his speed and throw power will be above 90s, which will make him really insane. And he's a scramble archetype, so he will go ahead and probably get a skate artist as well. I don't know what the threshold is for that exactly, but he should get it overall-wise. He'd be really good, good ball carrier vision. He'd probably end up in the 80 juke area. His break tackle probably ends up in the 80s. This card would be a really, really good quarterback. I mean, I mean, I know, I know people may not like a Mitch Trubisky card, but his agility, acceleration, like this card would be an insane athlete uh six foot two he could really be a great quarterback in this in this uh in this meta again he probably won't get gunslinger but with being such a high overall you never really know with what other stuff he could go ahead and get if he can get like a certain if he can get one good passing ability combined with escape artist or maybe some good scrambler ability as well plus he gets you know 90 okay on the lowest end i think his lowest end he gets a 90 speed right because it's 14 he goes up 20 i think lowest end he gets a 90 speed i think he could even get like a 91 92 that car would be pretty insane and his throw power has got to be like 93 94 right i mean just based off his gold card he has a pretty high throw power for, for 74 overall he's an 82 throw power is kind of crazy i i could see it i think guys for the current hero of the week this week's player of the week this guy is going to probably get this card he had an insane week he had three touchdowns 150 yards cheetah tyree kill is probably going to go ahead and get this upgrade here now tyree kill already had a pretty good card right he can get all the way up he has that um that the mud the free the free tyree kill you get from the mcs video and everything but a tyree kill upgrade right a current hero probably gets a 93 overall powered up now the beauty of that would be that's like a plus seven six seven overall let's go with six tyree kill gets like a 93 to 94 speed base base like 93 94 base if he gets a 94 speed base let's just say right that leaves him with a 95 speed plus uh you know strat cards and everything you'll probably get him up to like a 98 to 99 speed pretty easily not to mention his deep route running will be mid high 90s his media his short running might actually get to the 90s i think it will power it up and his medium route running will also get close to 90s as well and his agility will be in the 90s his awareness will be in the 90s his catching will be his catching his back catch will be close to 90s but i don't think i'll make it there once again his jump will be in the 90s his carrying will be close to 90. His change of direction and ball carry vision above 90. His juke will be mid-high 90. Um, he'll be good. Break tackle will be close to 90. This kick return will be one of the best kick returners in the game. But this card will be absolutely insane. He did really good. So, guys, the overall wrap for this week, who could be good? Like, Mitch Trubisky, six touchdowns for the LTD. He could be a really good, fast, scrambling quarterback. Tyree Kill could be will probably be the best wide receiver in the game, quite honestly. Um, Legend Heroes, we have Ossie and Matt Forte. Ossie would probably be pretty meta depending on the speed they give him. Really just depends. And then Matt Forte, the only problem with him is I don't know what speed they'll give him and he's not probably the heaviest. And then for the lower guys, I mean, Mahomes plus one's always good. Cordell Patterson would probably be like a fun, decent card for some theme teams. But yeah, that's about it. Hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. If you aren't to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn the noti bell. If you guys need coins, head on down below to my sponsor. Make sure to use my code at checkout for the discount. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.